For more than 150 years, there have been reports of a half-man, half-ape type creature stalking remote areas of Florida. Much attention has been focused on the Everglades in the south of the state, where in 1997, in one week alone, scores of people claim to have seen a hairy, odorous beast. Could these parts be home to a secret species, one that goes by the name of the swamp or skunk ape? He um, walks like a man, looks like an ape, but smells like a skunk. It's another creature, it's a hominid, it's evolved right along with us, it's a biological creature. Animal X travels to the Big Cypress National Preserve and the small settlement of Ochopee in the Florida Everglades to speak to some of the skunk ape witnesses of 1997. Ochopee Fire Chief Vince Doer was driving along one of the many isolated roads in the preserve on July 21st, 1997, when he saw something cross his path. It was off season in the Everglades. The temperature topping 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the humidity at 100%, the mosquitoes as thick as the air. Not a time for anyone to be outdoors. Vince stopped his car for a closer look. It just so happened his camera was handy. I got out with my camera, adjusted it, I yelled at it. By then it was about 400 feet west of the road. It was taking a, a pretty good stride and a fast walk. Was not running, was not on four, was just on two, upright. And it kind of turned, and then I snapped the picture that I have. The, and then I only took one shot, one, one picture. Uh, watched it for a few minutes, got back in the truck, and continued on down to the station. This is the image door captured on film. When enhanced, it shows a brown figure walking away from him. Could it be the legendary skunk ape? The Sasquatch of the swamp? High up in his fire tower overlooking the area where he took the photograph, Doerr reflects on what the creature might have been. No, I, I've never seen anything like it before. Uh, I've seen near seeing anything to it would be a bear, but bears, you know, they're on all four. When they move any distance, they go down on four. So if I know what I know now, I would have run after and got closer shots or, you know, but uh, at that time, I just snapped one shot. And a lot of people think that's odd. Uh, I said, well, that just shows you at the time, I just didn't think nothing true about it. Three days before the Doer incident on July 18, 1997, a busload of English tourists were sitting in air-conditioned comfort, leisurely taking in the sights of the Everglades. They watched as alligators floated by in swampland and exotic birds flew overhead. Suddenly, two children in the group pointed out something not on the regular sightseeing program. And one of the boys said, Bigfoot, Bigfoot. And he was looking over this way and these trees over here. And it was about, just about here, uh, we saw a creature standing on the edge of the bush there, and uh, it took us by a complete surprise. It looked like a huge gorilla. The sighting lasted just three seconds. Roland decided to investigate further. Then when we recovered enough to put the vehicle in gear and drive to where I thought I saw it go into the bushes, I drove up and stopped but it came out again about 50 feet in front of me this time. And this time it halfway loped across the road and then instead turned around and went back into the bushes again. And I looked for it for a couple of minutes, but I couldn't find it and the mosquitoes were horrific. So I said to heck with it, got back in the van and took off. 